before I get started, I just want to say this uh, Kamika light here, V30, really sucks for cell phones. I'm going to have to up the ante and get a real mic. Let's see if I can get the focus to work this time. Point project video. My name is Aaron Savage and I just wanted to do one today doing a little bit better. I've been having migraines the past few days. Aries season, you know, got a lot of Aries energy. And uh, what I wanted to discuss is shadows. And I wanted to talk about shadows in the sense of um, metaphysical philosophy. Me, I grew up in Minnesota and uh, in the U.S. and we are supposedly the peak of Western civilization. And uh, if you've been here, you see that under that shine is a lot of grime. And I think that goes for most um, civilized cities, towns, countries. Well, the shadow as it appears to us um, in cities, wherever you are, it usually comes down to you through um, pop culture, movies, music, uh, bureaucracy, movements, ideologies that further diffuse gains at the expense of the many. But when you analyze uh, the shadow, you can see it clearly in movies. Um, for instance, you know, I'm a huge zombie movie fan. Um, love uh, Ramiro and uh, a lot of Italian directors. But you see how that um, ideology of um, brain dead people walking around trying to consume the survivors, the heroes, the heroines is a prominent feature in those movies. And uh, if you look at consumer-based societies, we've done that um, repeatedly with not only other people, other cultures, but the earth herself. And if you look around nowadays, The Walking Dead is a actual living meme. It's an energy. And I see it in a lot of people um, that are sacrificing themselves for an ideology or some kind of a virtuous goal. Um, and what it is, is when you feel like you're disconnected from yourself, you're seeking to find it through connection with others and groups and movements. In the West, when you're brought up through the pop culture, um, sphere of being, it kind of uh, gets you trapped in your head, it disconnects you from your heart, and a lot of times when you feel things, it's usually just pain, because that's one of the most powerful um, forces for emotions. Shame, guilt, um, fear, all these things are connected, and coincidentally, those are the mechanisms of control that religion and movements have used for thousands of years and who knows it may change between ages but for the sake of this discussion when you're trapped in the mind you forget your heart <laughs> and you are willing to live the, the willful ignorance of the death within so that you can imitate life without 
And I know that a lot of people are running off of fear, shame, and guilt. And this is the outlet that society is giving them. And I understand it. But in sacrificing yourself, you are becoming the walking dead and you are trying to feed upon those that feel the truth within themselves. Those that actually feel a connection to this earth through their heart, through their mind. And uh, that's not going to go over so well for anyone <laughs> in the short term. In the long term, we'll see what happens. I tend to be a optimistic cynic, um, so I always know things will get better, but I don't know when. Now, if you grew up in the country, you know, the uh, biosphere that was shaping your perceptions of the shadow was uh, Mother Earth and Father Sky, and it was nature. And you could see the natural cycles progress um, untainted by uh, manic-mindedness and the perpetuations of greed through uh, little men and evil people. So with that, uh, I just ask that everyone kind of go within themselves. If you feel like you are being pulled into the meme of whatever pop culture programming is going on, step back, get in tune with your body, uh, create something. You know, uh, you were born with the, the gift of life. We don't have much time in this world. And each time we're here, we're here to put it to good use. Uh, there's so much you can learn, so much you can do while you're here that you might not be able to do otherwise. And if you're an atheist and you don't believe in an afterlife or reincarnation, then this is the ultimate um, opportunity for you. And uh, nihilism might be the, uh, the struggle you have to overcome in your life. So just uh, go within, seek solace within yourself, understand yourself, and only then can you authentically meet other people and uh, form reciprocity deserving of your life. So uh, thanks for watching and uh, take care.